Hello and welcome to the Purple States. I'm Evan Lucas. As always, please have a very good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature, none of which relied upon as any full personal advice. Go Marcus does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of which relied upon as any advice at all. It is just general in nature only. Late to the party state. I don't think that's a fair call, but North Carolina has now been included in the battle states or what's also referred to as the swing states. It's late to the party because normally you wouldn't actually suggest that it actually it moves in any direction other than on a red side. 10 of the last 11 elections, it has voted for the Republican Party. And the only time it didn't was in 2008 under Barack Obama. It didn't swing either in 2020 under Biden. But why is it now included in the seven swing states? Because it is the closest state out of all the polls that have been done across the plethora of providers, both left and right of that leaning center numbers. You therefore need to ask what is going on inside North Carolina to see it be a swing state because 16 electoral college votes in this current election is absolutely ginormous, particularly for Trump more so than Harris. Because as I said, this is a Republican state that has turned bluer and bluer as the years have gone by. And the question is, why? First and foremost, you need to look at its demographics. It has one of the higher black populations in the country. And of those that are of voting age, 21 year and over, 27% of the state is black compared with the rest of the country, which is 12. What's also more telling about this group is that, again, nationally, blacks vote about 73 to 75% of the time for the Democratic Party. In the state of Carolina, it's as high as 83. And that's a big play for Harris in terms of those numbers. Not only that, the more urbanized areas have over the last sort of decade and a half really started to swing towards the Democratic Party in those urbanized areas. There are higher levels of education in these spaces. Younger people are also now swinging towards the Democratic Party. And that's why North Carolina is alive. However, there is a massive trump card, excuse the pun, with what goes on inside North Carolina as a state. It has a rural population that makes up 28% according to the out polls from 2020. And not only is that 28% a big, big portion of the overall state, it is highly conservative, highly religious, and very much voting for the Republican Party and has done pretty much since inception. And that's where this gets down to the narrowest of narrowest margins. Because at the moment, it's 47.8 to Trump and 47.8 to Harris. That makes this state the most knife-edge state in the country and is exactly why it sits inside our purple series.